Good day, this is Janet Jordi at Global Inspiration, where you need to be seen, need to be heard, and be an inspiration to the world. I am so excited for our guest this afternoon because I drove two and a half hours just to be here in Serena, Illinois to interview our special guest today. I consider her to be the technical mentor for Global Inspiration. Before we started Global Inspiration, I talked to her. And she has a blog at YouTube. So I asked her about equipment, about spotlights, about camera, about microphone, tripods, and everything. And she walked me through it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome Pilar Cambaya Lavandero. How are you, Pilar? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. It is such an honor for me to be here in your show, The Global Inspiration. Thank you. And welcome to Global Inspiration. So, where are you from the Philippines? I came from Cebu City. So, you, we speak the same dialect. Yeah, Bisaya. Bisaya. <laughs> when, do, when do you move from the Philippines to America? What year was that? It was 2014, August 13. So, when you moved to America, from the Philippines to America, were you working or were you a student? Yes, I was working in Cebu Mitsumi, in oh. Sabang. Yes, in the now. What, what is that? Is that a restaurant or is that a... It is, it? it is a... I was a assembler. Okay. It is a... Like a phone. Ah, oh, okay. okay. The, the camera, the camera of your phone, like Apple or oh. Samsung. We did that. Okay, that's yes. good. That's really, really good job. So how young were you when you moved from the Philippines to America? I was 25 years old. So you were 25 years old. Yes. And how long have you been here in America? If you came 2014, yes. that is six years, correct? Yes, correct. it is correct. Correct. So I have a question. So why do you move from the Philippines to America? I met a foreigner online okay. and then he we decided to... We decided to process a Q1 visa and I said yes, it was his idea for that though. It it was I was I didn't have any idea about Q1 visa to come here in America. It was just happened. I I didn't plan that. I mean he did it. Yeah. He planned it and I said yes. Okay. For Q1 visa, a fiance visa. Okay. And then we processed everything. And then you I, move you move from the Philippines to America because it yes. was approved. Yeah. Yes, and everything went well. Yeah, that's good. Yep. That's good. So you were married. Did the relationship work? It didn't work well. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear that. So why do you move? I am curious, and I know the viewers are curious. Why you marry someone as mature as your mother? Is it because of financial or economic? reasons or is it because of strong emotional feeling you call us love or what is it <laughs> for me it's love okay good. that's good. yes because everything you can do everything because of love yeah and age is doesn't matter it doesn't matter yeah I, if, I like that I if like your that. heart beats yeah to be you know to be with someone that you really love yeah you can be with him anytime exactly you know and i'm sorry to hear that it did not work and I know now that you are, you get out from the relationship and now you are into a new relationship and you have two boys, I understand. Yes. So can you tell the name of, the name of these boys, the ages and the unique traits they have? Yes, my eldest son is Dion Zuriel. Okay. And then my second born son is my, he is my heart warrior. Okay. Yeah, he had the heart surgery when oh. he was five months old. Yes, he is Michael Cyril. Oh, yeah. okay. So how old are these boys? Dion is four years old and Michael is two years old. So what's, what's, what, what makes the oldest different than the youngest? Um, I can say that Dion, he likes to sing. Okay. Yes, he likes to sing and he likes to read. Okay. Yes, that's what he likes. And then how... Uh, um, and then about Michael, he likes to play drums. Okay. That's yes, good. and he likes to play guitar, okay. and also he likes to sing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and also but... he likes to read. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Michael and Dion likes to read. That's good. That's good to hear yes. about that. So you've been here in America 
2014 and that is six years. Can you share with the viewers what are maybe two challenges and two accomplishments you have? My two challenges, it was my, it was the language and also I had a culture shock. Everything was super hard for me to learn because the culture and the food, especially <laughs> the food. I am Bisaya and that's not my first language, the English. So it's so difficult for me to speak English every day. Mm -hmm. And also the food. Because I really miss the Filipino food. Yeah. I used to eat everything like lupia or pancit. And then in here in America, I need to go to Asian, to Asian, store. To Asian <laughs> store or Seafood City. You know mm. that, that guys in, in yeah. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, we need to drive far from here. Yeah. So just to get the food that you yeah. really wanted to yeah. Yeah. to eat. So you mentioned about two challenges. Can you share with us the two accomplishments? Yes, that's a nice question. My two accomplishments that I know how to drive and I was so very thankful for my ex-husband because he was the one who taught me how to, to drive. drive. And the second that I accomplished is that I have my own family. I have my own kids and I have a partner that's really support me in everything. Yes, I am so very thankful for Ted. Yeah. So I know you have a blog, YouTube. You have two boys. You have a man in your life now, the name is Ted. Yes. And then you have two boys, you have Ted and you have a blog. Can you share with us your typical day? My typical day, as usual, taking care of my kids and also doing the vlogs if I have a free time. Especially when they are sleeping, that's my free time to, to, to make my vlog and everything just like a a normal day just like a day in my life yeah because i consider a full-time mother which you are right now a yeah. full-time mother is the most exhausting career and yet it is the most fulfilling and the most rewarding one so congratulations for being a full-time mom so can you share with the viewers what is what is the vlog all about my yeah. my vlog is Pilar Vlogs USA. I name it U Pilar Vlogs USA because I am here in America, so that the that my old so that my audience will know that I am living in America, and also I am doing vlogs for the YouTube beginners. Challenging. <laughs> yeah. So you've been here since two thousand fourteen. When was the last time you have visited the Philippines? Actually, I'm sorry to say that never. I did oh. not go to Philippines been six years. Been six years. But it's okay yeah. because we have Skype and we have Messenger and the long distance call is free. You can talk to them. But that's that's what I keep on telling my my husband that even though there's Messenger, there is Skype, I want to go home because I want to spend time with my family yes, and friends. Right. So Pilar, give me one of the things that you missed about the Philippines. What I missed is my family and also the people in the Philippines. I really miss them. And also I miss my church mates in Cebu, in the now city Cebu. I, can I tell? Sure, sure. That, hello, chef. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <this one. laughs> I want to say hello to my church mates in, in New Life, the now. Yes, it's in Cebu. Okay. So... I know I, I don't like to end this interview, but can you give an inspirational thought or story or to our viewers? Can you share? Here in America, you need to be strong, you need to be patient, and also you need to be friendly. Because here in America, if you are not alone, if you do not, if you do not have any friends in here, you cannot solve your problem alone. You need someone to talk to. Especially if you are in a challenging situation, they are really willing to help you. Thank you, thank you very much, Pilar, for that very insightful and thoughtful inspiration. Again, ladies and gentlemen, Pilar Cambaya Labandero, and this is Janet Jordi of Global Inspiration, where you need to be seen, you need to be heard, and be an inspiration to the world. Thank you very much, at maraming salamat.